Coach, how you doing, sir? Hey, James, how are you this morning? I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Talk a little bit about Mr. Corey Fields. Uh, he was able to come back 9-15, right. 91 yards, one pick. But tell us about his foot and, and how he's doing so far. Yeah, Corey, we we pretty much resigned ourselves to the fact that we'll we are play both those guys uh, some, James. And, uh, you know, we'll try to figure out exactly how we sort that out. But at this point, Corey is back, and he's not quite full speed. But I think that, you know, it looks like we are going to try to do, you know, the entire offense through him pretty similar to what we do with Andre Washington, who's also playing for us. So, Corey played, I guess, maybe half that game on Saturday. We played Andre the other half. We actually played Prometheus Franklin, the young man that got hurt against Howard in our second to the last game of the season, had ACL surgery, a little bit toward the end. So, we played three of those guys, and – you know what? You know, we kind of like the idea of keeping them kind of rotating a little bit. I feel kind of like uh, like Brian Jenkins or uh, Alvin Wyatt or some of those guys from Platoon <laughs> Coach. Like, they always play more than one quarterback. So we're going to try to figure this thing out. We're not quite sure where we're headed, but we'll sort through it during the holidays. I mean, during the, uh, during the uh, off week here and uh, try to figure it out. Coach, uh, the Citadel, uh, that's a golden opportunity to get one. But just talk a little bit about going in into that particular game and, and Mr. Godbolt and uh, Mr. Green, Jablonski, and, and, and health and, and just going in and playing uh, S South Carolina State football. Well, uh, we need to play South Carolina State defense. We hadn't stopped anybody. That's been a major concern. And our defensive guys have worked their fans off trying to get our defense going. And uh, uh, Godbold and 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 Jablonski and that whole defensive front group has struggled some, but you know it's been a lot to do with who we're playing to. Both Georgia Tech's and Charlotte's offensive fronts were were very very good, and uh, you know our guys have gotten uh, kind of pushed around a little bit up front. So we're looking to try to see if we can get those guys up and running versus our level of talent, and uh, you know hopefully it'll be you know, a little different story once we get against these teams that we plan here, you know, upcoming on our schedule. Thank you, Coach. Have a nice week. All right, James. Appreciate you.